Hello everyone. Good evening. Rose here. Tonight I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream, which she just completed called Complaining About My Haters. So it's really, really late where I'm at. It's after 1230. It's almost one in the morning. But I had a little bit too much Pepsi, so I got caffeine in my system and I'm wide awake. So I thought, what the hell? Let's do this react now. Let's work with the caffeine rather than work against it and lay in bed just awake and unable to sleep. So Foodie did a stream called Complaining About My Haters. Foodie, what are you going to learn? That complaining about your haters does not make the haters go away. And every moment that you give us is one moment you take away from yourself doing something positive with your life. I guess that's a lesson you will never learn and you'll never understand. But anyway, regardless of that, Fodi did a stream complaining about different people she didn't like. And spoilers, Sala was in the chat. And the more that Sala said in the chat, the more it sounds like Natter. Because this person, Sala, was essentially telling Fodi what to do. And from what I've gathered from other people, some of the Beezers were not happy with Sala, including the unholy trinity, the, uh, the big three, Blaine Cheeseburger, Sofa King, and Ashley Lamborghini. They just weren't liking the fact that Sala was being so controlling over Foodie in the chat. But what could they do? It's not their channel. It's, they don't have the power. But we're going to sit in and do this react to Foodie, and then we're going to call it a night because I want to do a tarot reading of Foodie in the morning for all of you because a lot of people have been asking for another reading on her. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and that's why I'm doing this now, so it'll get it out of the way. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see and hear what I see and hear. There's Foodie. So she's laying in the dark again. I so hate these streams when she lays in the dark. It's so lazy. But she's going to talk to us and tell us about how much she hates us again. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? I'm making an Amazon wish list. Do you think I should? Because, like, yeah, I could make mm -hmm. an, a, a wedding wish list if you want. If you guys want to get me a wedding gift, then I can. Whoa, which cat just jumped on my bed? Wait, I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> you know, before anybody buys Foodie anything for her being married, make sure she is married first. I mean, really, officially, for real, married. Don't take her word for it. Foodie, she's so low down that I wouldn't put it past Foodie to sit there and tell people that she's getting married or she's been married just to get free stuff out of people. You know, just like she did with the postcard club. She made all those promises about getting people postcards. Several months later, not a single postcard. And yet she got people's money. No. The llama is, you know. Hi. Hi. Hold on. You know, I hate when they do this. Why do they have to mute the stream? What what can they be possibly saying that we don't we can't hear? So rude. Just walk out of the doggone room. Is icing like okay for cats? Can I give her some? No. A little bit? No. No, foodie. Are you talking about BBJ? She's old, she's elderly, she doesn't need anything sugary. Bad for her. She's already in bad health. What's wrong with you? I mean, I love my cat Booger. She's curled up in my arms right now with your Booger like a baby. Yes. You know, it's late, so she's trying to get me to go to bed. And it's like, no, I'm not ready for bed yet. But I don't give her anything sugary. Sugar's not good for, for pets. It really isn't good for them. They may like it, but it's not good for them. Okay, so hi guys. Um, are you so far? Yeah. 
That's disrespectful. Just be respectful, guys. Address him being perfect and gorgeous. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's why people are freaking mad, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, why would a man like that want to be with, like, a person like that is basically... <laughs> Well, that's so dumb. Hello, everybody. Okay, so I wanted to say, um, hey, Jake, um, the thing I know I have I want to be in the dark the thing about you know Stoon I wonder if the reason why she's doing this stream in the dark is because she's high and she doesn't want people to know how high she is and Sala it enters the chat at some point so maybe she doesn't want him to know how high she is I have not met him in person yet, no. And yet you're engaged, moron. So here's the thing. Um, it's clickbait because I was going to complain about my haters. Because instead of putting... Oh, she says right away, oh, it's clickbait. She just admits it. That was clickbait. She... she... <laughs> okay. So let's think about the date. It's the 22nd right now because it's after midnight. So the end of the month is almost here. Foodie's looking for anything and everything to boost up her views and to make a little bit of extra money before the end of the month. That's what she did. She's clickbaiting everybody just to get a little bit away in the extra views. This is how you're getting views now, foodie. With the drama, with the shock, with the clickbaiting. Rather than do things the right way, you know, quick money grab gimmicks only last for so long. And then people catch on to them and then they stop working. And that's why you don't have your YouTube silver play button like Charlie Gold. Community post after community post. I was just com gonna come on here and address it. Um. Oh. <sighs> Goodbye, Bye. Chantal Stopper. Okay. Carrot cake. Um. Okay. So. Then. So the number one reason I want to wanted to come live now won't be for very long because, like I said, I'm really tired. Really tired. Oh my god! And I'm so, you know how I'm so behind on everything. The thing is, is I'm always behind on life. Okay, but some. You know, I don't know if there's a real Sala, but if Sala's in her chat. If this is a real guy and not a cover for Natter or a scammer, if if this person, Sala, actually exists and if he's interested in foodie and he's got a nice life and a nice car and a business and so forth and so on, I'd be paying attention to stuff like this. And this woman can't seem to get her shit together. That she's got to be moving in less than a week. And she's got nothing done. And she wants to spend all of her time live streaming versus getting things done around the house and getting things organized to actually do the move. Sala, this is the person you want to marry? This disorganized, messy, dramatic person with issues? Issues that she doesn't want to work on and sort out and fix? She's looking at you to fix her like some sort of broken car? Let me tell you something. 
The only person that can fix a person is the person who's broken. Nobody else. Every person has all the tools and the resources they need to fix whatever it is that's wrong with them. It's no one else's job to fix somebody else's broken parts and broken life. But yet that's what Foodie is looking for. She wants to play the damsel in distress in her own private fairy tale from hell. And the prince is going to just come charging through the forest on some white horse and rescue her from the mess she made of herself. And then they lived happily ever after. Foodie fairy tales are in books. They don't exist in real life. Okay. When are you going to learn? When are you going to grow up? How it just works out in the end for me. And I do actually end up putting in the work. And I do persevere through a lot of shh. Okay, so eating cake in the dark is really not that easy. <laughs> back up. Ooh, back up, girl. <laughs> okay, doing? barbecue. Get away from my cake. No. <laughs> What? BBJ's new nickname is Barbecue. <laughs> okay. So, I just really missed some of you beezers, man. Margaret, all right, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Very sick bees. Oh my god, I gotta update my freaking. Can you? I need some light. To see what cake I'm eating with my hands. <laughs> yeah, and how dare you, by the way? You're sitting there making fun of someone like perfectly imperfect that did the work, that went through all the steps for weight loss surgery. Girlfriend powered through it. She got the weight loss surgery. She lost the weight. She took care of herself. You shaming her and yet you're over there fucking eating cake even though you shouldn't be eating cake because you're a diabetic and you're gaining more weight but you making fun of somebody who did the work did the time and they lost the weight and you're eating cake By the way, that's no shade on cake because, hey, cake is awesome. But let's, let's just hear it for cake, okay? It is. Some days I eat healthy, some days I don't. <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> Funny ish, welcome to Very Important Beauty. Ready to be used. Hey, Andre Marie. Why is your boyfriend mad at you? I'm not going to be streaming all the time. Like, these are impromptu. You know, she keeps saying that. I'm not going to be streaming all the time. Or I'm going to be gone for a little while. I'm going to be on Instagram. But then she comes back to YouTube. She just can't stay away from YouTube. She needs that attention. You know, attention is one of her drugs. She needs her fix. She doesn't know what to do with herself outside of YouTube. She really doesn't. She has... No outside interest, no outside life. Putting her face in the camera is all she knows. I know that you guys like are probably seeing my manic community post, but here's the thing. I don't want to address a specific hater, but I want to say... <laughs> okay. Colleen! Number for 13 months. Hey, girl. Hey, ready? Some readings. Colleen. Oh my god. No, that's a pillow that's like too large for the. It's a king pillow. And it's only a queen um, pillowcase. Oh my god. I'm going to eat this cake like a total pig. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, she's not. Foodie, are you on a binge? Serious question. Are you on a binge? Is this what this is? You're binging in the dark? I mean, you're 
Are you in the dark because you're ashamed of your binge? Because you don't want Saul or anybody else to see you binge on this cake? Is that what this is? There's no graceful way to eat this. Hold on. <laughs> but she doesn't have a sweet tooth, guys. Remember her saying that? She doesn't have a sweet tooth, but yet she's here on camera eating cake. You guys don't want to see that anyway. Come on. You're right. We don't. I'm getting my nails done soon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... You know, what is the point of doing a live stream if you're not really going to appear on camera? You can, people can't even see you. What is the point? <clears throat> One second. <laughs> um. Like, seriously, how much cake do you have that it's going to take you forever to eat it? You get a whole doggone thing? Raise a blood what? I'm not a hater, but since the hijab I'm interested. Okay. Well cool. Right, you're interested in my content. Thank you for the super chat. It's coffee cake, coffee first. Mm. The same shirt. Why are you worried about what I wear? Like, how do you how do you know I haven't washed it? How do you know? Like, it's so comfortable. I'm probably gonna wear it every single day. <laughs> like every single day. No joke. <laughs> you know what my problem is too. Actually, I knew people were gonna complain about that, and I'm like, I have no. I'm just going to insert this in here. Something I know from being around people in my past, people that weren't friends, just associates, people that took heavy drugs, certain chemicals, certain party favors. If you do them, uh, when, you, when you crash, you will crave sweets, you'll crave sugar. And I don't know what Foodie's been doing lately. I can't say for sure. I'm not in the room when she's doing anything. She's had a lot of very suspicious burns on her lips and trips to the outhouse. Uh, I'm wondering if the sugar craving and her eating all this cake is related to that. Non-skimpy clothes. Like, this is the non-skimpiest thing I have. <laughs> so... Girl, you just got paid. Go buy some new clothes. Um, I have to get a bunch of abayas and stuff like that. People are, like, really crazy with that. <clears throat> I hate addressing dumb, like, comments like that. Like, anti-Islamic. What? Like, oh, you're going to join ISIS or... <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm laughing because S. Jam is in the chat and he sent her a 99 cent super chat. Boy, you've come a long way, haven't you, S. Jam? What happened to the days when you would send Foodie $500 at a time, $1,000 at a time? Now you're down to less than a dollar. <laughs> Either you've hit some hard times, my friend, or uh, you got smart. Which is it? Which is it? Sending her like less than a dollar super chat. You do know that Foti yells at people for sending her small amounts, right? Oh, no, Esther. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm just going to put my... I'm just going to get some water. Give me two seconds. 
Thank you, Sjam. Don't you? By the way, that pitcher of water that you're claiming that you drink a day, that's not going to cancel out the 2,000 plus calories you're eating right now. I don't have to. Wait, no, I don't remember. <laughs> you guys always think I'm zooted. That's because you usually are. And, and, you never explain why you have to go to the outhouse now, and you never explain the burn marks on your lips. You never gave an explanation that made sense. I know that you said that's from your lip plumpers, although if the lip plumpers are doing that to your lips, why are you still using it? Your lips are not reacting very well to the lip plumpers. And how much are you using to get that kind of reaction anyway? Like how much you're using that it's causing your lips to break out like that. It looks really painful, but you usually are zooted. And just because you're not doing stuff openly on camera doesn't mean you're not doing it off camera. We've seen you come on camera zooted, foodie. I mean, the glassy eyes, and we can tell by looking at your face when you're under the influence and you've been under the influence a lot lately in one way or another. You think I'm on everything under the sun. You are. Half the time. Actually, my eyes are pretty alert. They're not hamburger eyed at, <coughs> at all. So, excuse me. <laughs> what? Lambo, I freaking miss you guys. So fab. Plain cheese. I always act like it, Racer Girl. I'm just, I'm honestly, I have a bad headache. I think I need, like, <laughs> blood pressure. You know, she's been complaining a lot about that lately. I'm tired. I've got a bad headache. If it's not because you've not been getting enough sleep because you're staying up at ridiculous hours, cruising YouTube, going in everybody's comment sections and their live chats and going on their videos and leaving nasty comments and going on Twitter, reporting people on Twitter and copyright striking people. If you weren't doing that, you might be able to get some sleep and you wouldn't have a freaking headache. And let me tell you something, foodie, if you've got a nasty headache, you wouldn't be on live stream right now because nasty headaches will put you on the floor. I've had them where you can just lay in bed and all you do is take an aspirin and pray that the pounding in your head stops. So you got a bad headache, but you went on for this live stream for an hour and 20 minutes. I guess it wasn't that bad. Pressure pills or something. Oh, God. <clears throat> I went to a clinic today to get a lot of different things done. My medication sorted and everything. <laughs> you know, because if you're going to be traveling around the world... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm due for an ERBs. Yeah, Reginald says you've had a headache for a week. You're due for an ERBs. Well, that's something that Foodie did in the past when she either wanted attention or she wanted to get out of a mess that she created where everybody was mad at her. She always did the ERBs to make people feel sorry for. Well, she's not doing that anymore, I feel, because it's too inconvenient and it's too expensive. So no more ERBs. She can't afford it. But now it's, I've got a headache. Reginald says, well, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, no, I take Advil. It's getting cold, so my nose is... Hold on. It's a little bit leaky. Give me a minute, guys. Her nose is leaky? Or covering. You know what I mean? Is that supposed to be funny? Because you look more like Jeff the Killer than me. <laughs> Hey, Canadian. Is that S Jam in your picture? 
I'm just like grossed out how hateful people are online. Really? Really? You're complaining about other people being hateful when you literally go out of your way to be hateful to all the reactors? Trying to throw shade and all it does is create shadows for you, ma'am. You know, it's a boomerang effect. You're trying to throw a shade, it bounces back to you and, and cause, cast shadows. That's what you're doing. Casting shadows for yourself over your dark future. Because you really don't have much of a future, do you? You're over there pretending to have a husband, pretending to be in a relationship to a guy you've never met. This guy's supposed to be rich. I'll say it again, like I said in my previous react, if he's so doggone rich, why hasn't he bought you anything? Why isn't he sending you gifts from afar? Why isn't he sending you money? Right? Wouldn't that make sense? He's got a car. He's a businessman. He's got all this money. Why isn't he sending you money, foodie? Come to think of it, if this guy's so doggone rich, if he's such a great businessman, if he's wealthy, why is he talking to you about investing in properties. Why wouldn't he invest in his own properties with his own money? Think about that for a minute. It's like just so disheartening and weird. There, people are so invasive in a weird, disturbing manner. <laughs> Yalla. <laughs> crap anymore Stephanie um, so I'm basically keeping all things about anything about relationship okay let me just scroll back a minute so flop era says did Sala ask me for your hand in marriage happy for you how could he ask for her hand in marriage if he's not even there What's he going to do? Ask her from, on the internet? Like in a live chat? That's just weird. That is just weird. To propose to somebody and you've never met them, not even once. Boy, it's private for now, but um, just be patient. It's not like I'm worth holding it just to be, you know, a jerk. ASMR taps. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and then to say, I um, I know. Okay, let's say the Arabic words. I know. I know. <laughs> so I'm shy. Assalamualaikum. That's a good question. Candy Corp says, "Why did you go after Breezy?" When you both got engaged to people you've never met, well, she doesn't like Breezy. She hates Breezy. She hates Breezy. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe because Breezy is on her channel and she's a nice person and she's got a nice personality. And for some reason, Foodie finds that disgusting that somebody is reacting to her and they're a nice person. They're not downright nasty. She just, I don't know, maybe she's just repulsed by anything nice or polite. I don't go after her. That's why I'm going after her, because she's being a hypocrite. That's exactly why I'm going after her, because she's being a hypocrite. She's She came after me for that. She's made a, she's milked this uh, I'm being scammed to death in a series of nonsensical, dumb, based on no proof whatsoever video. And what's that old saying? If you don't like it, don't look. 
it's really easy. If the things that people are saying are stuff you don't agree with and are going to make you mad, just ignore them, foodie. Don't pay attention to the person's videos. Don't go in their live chats. Don't go in their comment sections. Stay off their Twitters. Avoid it all, and you'd save yourself a lot of irritation. But you won't, will you? You, you won't ignore it all. Because you do these videos, you do these live streams, and then after you're done, you spend the rest of your night running around all over Twitter and YouTube looking to see what people are saying. Maybe you're doing it because you're doing this gigantic lie and you're seeing if anybody believes it. Or maybe you're looking to see if people disprove your lies and they are finding all the holes in your armor and pointing them out and you don't like that. Like I said, another react. You don't like mirrors. You hate anything that resembles a mirror, something that is a reflection of your true self. And because of the reaction community, girl, you got 60 mirrors surrounding you. You got a hall of mirrors surrounding you and you don't like it because each one shows the reality of who you are and puts it out there for everybody else to see. You don't want anybody else seeing your true, ugly reflection. And when I say that, I'm not talking about your physical appearance. No, ma'am. I'm talking about your personality. I'm talking about how offensive you are, how repulsive you are with your personality, that are you being condescending, you being rude, you being uppity with yourself when you have no reason to be uppity. All of that and more. You showing yourself on YouTube, you showing your private parts on YouTube, you being your gross, vulgar self. Women, you're proud to be vulgar gross and vulgar the next minute you're saying don't show that to people that's not right you can't have it both ways you can't sit there and portray yourself one way one minute and be proud of it and make money off of it and the next minute try to take it all back it don't work like that this is the internet the internet is forever videos and her fake freaking you know Candy Corpse Breezy never FaceTime Gorlick. Chantal FaceTime Sala daily for hours. Like you don't know a thing. You don't know what was. And how do we know you actually FaceTimed him for hours? Where's the proof? Where's the proof that you FaceTimed for him for hours? You know, Pete said it best when people were asking him about the mansion. He said, and I quote, foodie beauty. She likes to exaggerate things. Chantal likes to exaggerate. He said it outright. She likes to exaggerate. So if she exaggerated about the mansion, what else is she exaggerating about? Didn't she once tell us that Natter was really good looking? And then once we got a good look at him, we were looking at her like, what? Are you joking? This is an April Fool's joke, right? Because when we saw him, he was not good looking. She talked him up. He's got nice teeth and he looks like Jerry Seinfeld. And then we saw him and we were like, OMG. So it seems like she's got a pattern of exaggerating things. Putting a positive spin on things that are not positive. You exaggerated about the house. So it's safe to assume you're exaggerating about Sala too. What goes on, you know? <laughs> They're Lindquist gems. Holy crap. This woman and her daughter are insane. They've been stalking me forever. But then, like, I don't know. They're just weird. I don't know. I I I, I don't know. I see that that name everywhere as like with mean comments. It's so weird. Ugh, down. <laughs> I'm hyper because I'm in love. <clears throat> with yourself full up hero um we will not talk about such stupid things or we will be blocked thank you <sighs> <Congrats. laughs> 
goodbye. <laughs> There we go. I have a good block finger. Missy Moo trying to throw shade at Breezy. Breezy and her, I look good with wild crazy eyes, LOL, yikes. Missy Moo, I've seen a picture of you, ma'am. Are you sure you wanna throw insults around about people's look? Cause I've seen your picture. You ain't all that mama. No, no you're not. I've seen a picture of you. You ain't all that. You certainly ain't all that that you can step up and insult Breezy. You understand me? Have a seat. Have it quickly. I mean, even if I was, what is it your business? Like, what is it? I don't want immature people. Have um, immature, annoying. Goodbye. <laughs> right. You don't know like where I'm at in my spiritual life. You don't know if I'm even Muslim. Like <laughs> people don't know me. You don't know what's going on. So you're you're just coming up with crap. <clears throat> you're here for now. I'm just annoyed. Like that's why I don't even like going live anymore. Like I miss. She's a liar. She doesn't like going live. Yes, she does. She loves going live. You know what she's doing, y'all? She was going live so much that she overkilled the live stream concept to the point where people were completely bored with it. Because that's all she did for well over a year and a half is live stream after live stream, six to ten hours a day. So what she's doing now is she's trying to do less live streams to garner more interest. She's doing the less is more thing. The problem is the content is still the same. Different clothing, same person underneath. There's nothing interesting here. It's the same old Chantal. Like a lot of you, but some of you I really don't. <laughs> so the people I basically have blocked, I guess. I don't really, you know, miss you guys. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's just negativity. I just want to be more positive. <laughs> I yeah, well, what you've been doing lately is being anything but positive. You can be positive by staying out of people's chats and comment sections and Twitters. How about that? Start there. I just want to be more positive. People, I know. And like, villainizing me over using filters, what have you seen? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're going to tell me no reaction channels who accuse me of that use, filter, uh, use filters? No, we don't. Not to that degree. I mean, granted, some people use filters to put little things on their face, like little decals and stickers, but you, your filter game is insane. It's insane. What? Yeah, no, you blocked her too, so if, or no, you had me block her, you tricked me, didn't you? Yeah, he did. Oh, it is. I'm assuming that's bad, so I'm going to block it. <laughs> um, you know, literally the breezy chick showed a post 39 seconds after you... <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Like, I'm just so I'm sorry. And people say I'm attacking her kids. No, I don't attack her kids. I don't say the kid's name. I don't talk about the kid at all. What I say, what I say is like, I imagine like if I'm a parent, like, what are you doing? I picture like, are you coloring with your kid? And then you see my upload and then you have to go. Oh, I have to like, mommy has to be right back. I have to go and like. Criti Chantal, you're not a mother. And you came after Breezy. In a very insulting way. I saw the comment that you left for her. 
saying that, you know, you should spend more time with your kids or something like that. You're not a mom. And you cannot speak to a woman who is a mother and tell her what to do with her kids. Because, you know, what's ironic is that you're over there talking about getting a uterus transplant to have kids with Sala, right? So wouldn't you be more understanding and sympathetic to women who are mothers? Wouldn't you be more respectful? I would think you would, but you're not. And what's interesting about your uterus transplant is you've gone on record as saying you hate kids. So if you hate kids, really, you shouldn't have children, ma'am. Criticize somebody like what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like it's so stupid. <laughs> I just don't get it. No, she's not. Goodbye. She's fake. She's a hypocrite. You're a fake and you're a hypocrite. Your persona changes based on whatever guy you're with. And because it does, you are not being your authentic self. You are being a phony. You're just trying to land a man by being somebody you're not. The fact that you use filters to the extreme degree, you're not even coming on camera as your real, true, authentic, genuine self. You hide behind filters. You hide behind Photoshop. You know, this, you are not coming forward as who you really are. You're just so desperate to snare a man that you'll be anything a man wants you to be. But the, the problem is who you are underneath is still there. God. I'm working on it, you know. So, and I'm not going to give up. I have a goal now. I feel like I have, like, a, a purpose. Like, I, I really know what I want. Let's talk about packing. Honestly, basic, basic. I'm getting rid of everything. Whatever I can't sell, I'm just going to, like, give away to charity. Girl, you shouldn't give away anything. Everything in the house is probably just putrid, dirty, and disgusting. Give nothing to charity. And the more you talk, the more it sounds like you're going to leave a whole house full of stuff for the landlord and that's why you haven't started packing yet because you already know what you're going to do you might take a few clothes and then leave the less rest behind that's what it sounds like you're gonna leave the landlord to clean up your mess <clears throat> and like i think there's like a diabetes foundation foundation that's gonna pick up some stuff oh Uh, I think some clothes. I'm so tired. No one changes overnight. It's a process. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Plain cheeseburger. You can't have Sam. And, and I mean. What? People. The, your mistake is you think you know me. Even it's insulting when people say say things like, oh, she's being scammed. She's being like, okay. Like, again, the word ad nauseum, the term ad nauseum. I'm so tired of the word ad nauseum. Where did she hear that word? That's a big word for foodie. She's never used it before. Why is she using it a lot now? She th is she think does she think she's doing something by using that word? Does she think she's impressing people? It, she's not. She's using a word she's never used before. And it sounds ridiculous. Um, excuse me. Yeah, like... <laughs> Oh my God, how many videos do you have to put out that I'm being scammed when you know nothing? There's like no indication whatsoever of any scam. I've never been asked to give anyone any money. Like I keep saying, it's the complete opposite like, <laughs> of that. Like, But I'm not going to explain myself to anybody like that. They don't deserve it. They're waiting for an explanation so they can pick it apart like vultures. It's really sad. I don't envy that kind of existence. What about you guys? Would you? What? Like, who would you rather be, me or a reaction channel? 
reaction channel. I won't I won't judge you. I don't care if you don't want to be me. Like, is she that emotionally unstable? She's just I don't know. Her, no, I I just don't get where she has the time, like to be 40 seconds after. You know, let me drag somebody for a minute. So Missy Moo keeps coming for Breezy. Hey, Missy Moo. You remember all the way back, all the way back. When you were doing videos and you make dolls. And you basically admitted on your channel in a video somewhere that you're basically in foodies chat and, and trying to get her attention just because you're trying to sell more dolls. You remember that? I remember that. I just want to point that out to you. You know, like it's coming after Breezy for what? She's a nice person. What for? Like, why come after her? And you're a VIB in Foodies Chat. You're an enabler. Because that's what the VIBs are. Enablers. All of you over there, you're giving your $5 a month to support an addict. A multi-level, multi-stacked addict with different addictions. You are enabling an addict with your five bucks and your super chats. You don't think that's a little unstable? Yeah, I think so. Make that make sense. You're uploading and editing and uploading something. <laughs> I should just I should just post on my community post and edit of a big close up of her face like this. <laughs> Forty, you just did all those pictures of the different reactors of French fry girl of uh, tea and sass. And you said, oh, I shouldn't do that. That was mean. It was fun, but I was being mean. And now you're talking about doing it to Breezy. See, that's who you really are. You're a mean girl. You're a mean, nasty person. That is who you are. And so you're talking about there are going to be some big changes, and I'm trying to change myself. But you're still a mean, nasty person doing mean, nasty things on YouTube. So what's different about you other than your outfit? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're still just an online bully. <laughs> and saying, I smell like cheese. And then I'll say, react to this. And then she'll just go, okay, so Foodie Beauty just uploaded a video making, <laughs> making fun of me saying I smell like cheese. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Yeah, I'd rather be rich Lux. Yeah, true. He has a really eccentric style, for sure. Hi, Colleen. The only reason I have the time to be on YouTube is working from home. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see, Missy, my lucky. Breezy's smile gives me nightmares. I know, it's so creepy. I can't, I don't like fake people, annoying people either. I get easily annoyed, like very. And people get annoyed by me too. And I, whatever, you can't, that's your right. I can't fault you for that. I'm trying to be more positive, but it is a work in progress. And I'm trying to be more positive, but yet she plans on being mean to breezy how can you be positive and still have that mean girl attitude you know what I, one thing i will say is that i see people just trying to rub my past in my face as if i'm ashamed of it i'm not ashamed of my past um it's not your past you're still the same person i mean okay yes i am in a way but and you know what i mean by I'm so passionate about this life that I'm building for myself behind the scenes. They don't want to see me happy exactly, Lambo. And, but that's so strange to me that people don't want to see other people happy. Like, 
even just be indifferent towards others. Like if I, you know, I'll go on record as saying that I would like to see you happy and I would like to see you healthy, but really happy and healthy are up to you. They're not up to me. I am not you. Your life is your life. I've said it before in my reacts. I would still react to you if you got your head out of your ass and you screwed it on straight onto your shoulders and you took control of your life and you booted out all of the scumbags and the scammers and you did a complete redemption arc. I'd be on board for that. I'd still react to that. But again, your life is yours. You decide the amount of happiness or unhappiness your life has. Go to you are the captain of your ship. You always have been. But you're saying that you are striving for happiness at the same time you're causing other people unhappiness by going in their comment sections, going on their Twitters, going in their live chats and being nasty. How is that a path to positive energy and happiness? How does that work? Answer, it doesn't work. Because you're creating negative energy when you do that. And you create a lot of it. You're creating very little positive energy with positive actions. It's all negative energy and negative actions. But to wish misery on someone is so dark and so narcissist. Like, you have no care for somebody. Like, people think I'm a narcissist, but what about, like, someone like FFG, who is so effing nasty in every video? Are you kidding me? You are freaking... You're a freaking narcissist. You have no feeling for anyone. You're just. But, you know, here's a serious question, Cody. Serious question. How can anyone watch your content and say positive things about it? Just think about that for a minute. How do you expect us as reactors to watch you get on camera, getting high? being drunk to the point where you nearly vomit all over your keyboard and you vomit all over your bedroom. You're sitting there making fun of the school shootings and doing the finger guns and doing the Nazi salute. You're doing showing off your, your private parts on YouTube where they don't belong. What positive praise do you think we're going to give you acting like that? What impression are you giving your audience and you're giving the reactors acting like that? The impression that you're giving everyone is that you are completely offensive, vulgar, gross, disgusting, soulless person who does not care about anything or even anyone, including yourself. You're giving us the worst impression of you with each and every live stream. And so we're going to call you out on your behavior. We're not going to co-sign on your bullshit. We're going to call it like we see it. So if you don't like the negative words, then stop doing the negative ass live streams. Show a better version of yourself. Show that you're truly changing and you might hear some positive reinforcement. You want positive reinforcement. There has to be positive content. Do you see how that works? As long as you act like a jerk, we're going to say you're acting like a jerk. You're acting ridiculous. We're going to call it like we see it. It's as simple as that. And if you don't want to hear those things, then don't go onto other people's channels and seek it out where you know it's going to be. Stay away. Stay out of our backyards. Nobody invited you to walk in them anyway. Just stay out. Stay in your yard. Just don't go anywhere else. You'll be a lot happier person. Disgusting. You're freaking devoid of any human emotion. Like, ugh. They've been critiquing you for a while. Yeah, they've been critiquing me for a while. The minute I make changes, they don't believe it. No. Nope. Like. <laughs> you know why? Because these are changes that you're not doing for you. There's a man involved. There's always a man involved when you make changes. 
And you know what happens when you make changes based on being around another person? If that person decides they want to leave or they're no longer going to be around you, then you're going to reverse the changes. You're not going to be that person anymore because you weren't being your authentic self from the very beginning. Now, if there weren't a man involved and you were doing things to benefit you, that'd be a different story because there's no outside influence pushing you or pressuring you or influencing you. You're doing it because you feel it's the right thing to do. But there's always a man involved when you make major changes. You're so lacking an identity that you borrow off of somebody else's identity. You don't have an identity of your own. So you're looking for somebody else's identity to have a sense of worth. And you think that by being whatever it is the guy wants you to be, that he's going to fall in love with you. It's not how it works. See, you're going for love. And I'm going to tell you something that took me quite a while to figure out, Flutie. Pay attention. Pay attention. I thought for a long time that love was the top of the mountain. It isn't. There's something much more important. Do you want to know what it is? Connection. Connection. One soul being connected to another soul. Two souls being connected on a spiritual level. That's something you can't buy. It's something you can't borrow. It's something you can't force or pressure or fake. Either you feel a connection to somebody or you don't. And the moment that you're around someone, you know you're connected. And if you're going to ask me, how do you know? When you have that connection with somebody. I've got a few ways of figuring it out. You know you're connected with somebody when you feel relaxed around that person. You're so relaxed that you feel you can just be who you really are. You don't have to be somebody else. And you can sit next to the person and share silence comfortably. You don't have to fill it up with conversation. And here's a funny little test that I've noticed over the years. Those that we have the most connection with, get on the phone with them. If you don't have that much of a connection with somebody, the conversation is going to be very short, like 10, 15 minutes. But you know you got something special with somebody. When you can sit on the phone for hours and hours and never run out of things to say. Never. There's no awkward silences, no awkward moments. You just, you're enjoying the conversation so much that, you know, six o'clock in the morning, you've been talking since eight o'clock the, the pro previous day. Your phone is on the charger because it's about to die, but yet you don't want to stop talking. That's when you know you got a connection with somebody. Doesn't have to be a romantic connection. It could be a friendship connection. Connection is more important than love. Love is part of connection. Love is a side product that just happens sometimes. So love is great, but without connection, love doesn't last. Take that from somebody who knows, who's learned. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Tina's pretty wedding dress. I hear people making jokes like, we're going to your wedding. No, you're not. <laughs> That's creepy. I don't know. Jamie, your comment is so stupid, dog. Like, honestly. <laughs> Um, did I say I'm like fully converted to friggin' Islam and I'm way by the book and all that crap? Like, whatever. I hate people who like tell you how to profess your faith or like it's it's all a personal choice. Like, we're Christians. Okay, like I was baptized Christian, let's say. 
Um, do you know, like, I never followed the Christian life ever. <laughs> yeah, we know. Trust me, we know. I find it the same with how much crap you do get on the daily. Nobody's perfect. I know. They're all using my old content because they have nothing to talk about. Oh, we got plenty to talk about. There's been plenty of channels doing compilation videos and stuff on your community post. We got plenty of stuff to do. You've given us more than enough content to keep us busy for the next few years. You're just pissed off because you thought that by not live streaming anymore or not leaving live streaming as much, you were going to starve the reaction channels and we would be all up in arms saying, what are we going to do here? We've got nothing to do. Our life is over. No, no, ma'am. See, where we've learned to adapt, you've never learned that lesson. You've never learned how to, you know, switch gears when necessary. You're a one trick pony. We've got plenty of tricks over here. Plenty of ways that we can make things entertaining for people. Plenty of other things to talk about. There's plenty for us to do. We can react to you or Amberlyn Reed or somebody else. It doesn't have to be you all the time. You like to think so. You like to think that you're the life and death of the reaction channels. You're not. The only one you're hurting by not live streaming as much as you. The only one you're hurting by turning off your comment section is you because that hurts your engagement, doesn't it, Foodie? You're far down on the page for the search when somebody searches for your channel. You're hurting your own engagement, cutting off your nose to spite your face. Cutting off your own money out of spite. That spite is expensive, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. You keep hurting your paycheck like that and then getting mad at us saying it's our fault that you're losing money. No, it's yours because you're a big idiot. Being all spiteful and stupid over there. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just find it weird that people literally just play like something with me invol involving me and just a way to have like a common something to talk about mm -hmm. like in their chat but it's always like beating up on what what are you doing in their chat y you just admitted you're in other people's live streams do you not realize that you just pretty much outright admitted that you are nosy and you go into other people's live chats and lurk not that we can't see you because we can trust me we can we know you're there. We can see you in the list of participants. We know you're there. We may not call you out right away. But trust me, we know. On me, it's always negative. Like, I don't read it. Do you think, honestly, that I, I would be, like, would go in all these chats and read everything? Sometimes I, like, see, sometimes I do, and then, like, I'll leave a comment or whatever. And then, like, if people can surprise that it's nasty it's a nasty comment or that it's not very nice when they are like picking on me the whole freaking live stream are you insane what do you you know i'm going to point something out to y'all so as you can see exhibit a foodie has her vib chat right here nothing but vibs here does anybody see any reaction channels in her VIB chat. Do you guys see like a multitude of reaction channels just sending nasty comments to Foodie? No. No, we don't go in her VIB chat. We're not going to give her money. Hell no. We're not going to be all up in there. So she has her VIB chat. She talks to her beezers. We don't bother her in her VIB chat, but yet she'll go into other people's chats where she's not invited and make nasty comments. We don't go to her chat. We leave her alone in her chat. She makes a point to come in ours and say shit. And yet she calls us bullies. What do you want? Like like I always say, <clears throat> what do you expect? A hug? <laughs> Get a life. 
Okay, you're the one that spends hours on YouTube running around researching what people say about you. Maybe you should get a life because that's all you spend your time doing is spending your life being nosy about what other people are saying about you. I miss laughing at her face on her lives. Max live streams. I don't like doing like hours and hours. So maybe an hour is like good enough. Because like a, half an hour maybe is too short. Because it doesn't give people enough time to come in. You know what she really wants to say? Half an hour is too short because I won't get enough YouTube ads on it to make enough money. She has to be at least an hour. They certainly aren't doing well in life. They all stream from Shed and haven't seen Smokers Club. They all have the same voice. Like So anyway, Chantal making fun of Kaya. Leave Kaya alone. She's cool. I support Kaya over here. Kaya's, Kaya's the real one. I love you, Kaya. She's a real bitch. I hang out with her anytime. You, not so much. Never. Not even for a minute. No. Making fun of Kaya. Making fun of people's voices. When you're over there as a 38-year-old woman, and you sound like somebody much, much younger. You sure you want to go there, Chantal? Are you sure you want to insult people? Reason actually checked your account and said, when a video is private, it says private. But Chantal says remove by upload, so why is doing that? Why, why are they like investigating my channel for everything? Because you lie, and we're just making sure that you're telling the truth because you never tell the truth. So for King, during football season, you appreciate the hours being cut. Well, you're welcome, sir. Yeah, so I went to a clinic today and... And so what? Uh, I was there for maybe a total two hours. Nobody cares. Pickles? <laughs> Spicy pickles? Yeah, I just had some water. I have some on my desk. Yeah, Jake, we heard that, but it's not true, is it? I know. Racer girl, her comment. Uh, okay, this idiot, Sofa King, Crouch Critter, he says, YouTube needs to change the way reaction channels work. They to take some of their own earnings and send it to who they're reacting to. Chantal's been feeding a lot of families. You know what, Sofa? Crowds Critter. That's when I call you Crowds Critter. Is that what you are? You're a parasite. Um, listen, if it weren't for the reaction channels, Chantal's channel would have died on the vine a long time ago because her content was so boring for a long time long time all right and a lot of work goes into reacting to chantal the editing making the thumbnails all that reaction channels put in the work i mean chantal streaming six to ten hours a day are you kidding me it's like college homework <laughs> exams every day and no they shouldn't take part of our earnings and give it to chantal she makes enough money on YouTube. You know, Chantal makes enough. And if you're over there complaining about YouTube and how YouTube does things, how about YouTube having a terms of service and Chantal has broken it and been reported and YouTube doesn't do anything? So you're okay with being an enabler to an addict giving money to an addict, funding their addictions, watching them get high on camera, binge on camera, monetize their own eating problem on camera, doing self-harm content. You're okay with that. But let's complain about the reaction channels, making a little bit of money reacting to Chantal, right? That's the bigger crime. Fuck off. And just ignore them all. I know it's so hard. Especially the mouth I have on myself. 
So yeah, I guess I'm. I have slips, slip ups. I'm trying not to. I really would love to be radio silent. That's my goal. Not gonna work. And it's like annoying. Of course, it was her too. The minute I don't say something, even just a little something, so much for radio silent. Like grow up. You're like what in your forties, acting like a freaking fool. Hi, Sam. Kuwait bees. Or <laughs> Laura Palmer's life. Where's Bob? I don't want a Bob in my room. Sarah Jane. I like just happen to see you. Her community post, uh, her doing that selfie. Like, did you see my community post about her? Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? No filters. I see you, foodie beauty. I hate her eating. They think you're fake, Sala. Oh, Sala is now in the chat. There he is at the bottom. Sala's now in the chat. That you're gonna kidnap me, but I, 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 I want to be kidnapped. <laughs> Why <laughs> come on so long? <laughs> no, so far. That is so not cool. He says, "Can't wait to kidnap you." <sighs> Making a joke about that? Wait to kidnap you. <laughs> I don't want any drama and no questioning. <laughs> Kidnapping bees. Oh no, did you hear Sam? Sam. I can't wait for you to kidnap me, Sala. <laughs> no, no questioning. Uh, we are answering questions at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, I represent you, my future sweetie wife, Chantel. Oh, my God. <laughs> There you go. There you go. There, people are going to go. She put you up to that. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I fuck, Sorry. I that head back. <laughs> I love you so freaking much. So much. You know it. So before I come, please get a whole bunch of jars of pickles in the fridge. Thank you. <laughs> and oh. the Carmen Bowen, what? Oh, the Carmen Bowen. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Yeah. No, no, no. You are such a nice beezer. Chantel always talks to me about you. Hope you're all doing great. Thank you, Sala. <laughs> Sala, we're terrible. Yeah, sometimes we can, they bees too hard. <laughs> but in the end, we've been beezing a lot for many years. <laughs> Can you imagine being a professional businessman and somebody saying, oh, I bees and we bees hard here. I mean, wouldn't you look at them sideways like, what are you talking about? You're 38 years old. What is this word bees? What does that even mean? And this is the person you want to make your wife. Okay. <clears throat> Mm 
And um, I know how to say... So... <laughs> Masa arir means good you good night, right? Do they play horror games? I think he could play horror games. He plays games. He's good at playing games, I think. Oh, I love sour jube jubes. Does he have a single brother? <laughs> no. You know what I noticed? As soon as he entered the chat, she stopped eating food. Y'all noticed that? As soon as he entered, he's like, oh, I'm putting the food down now. I don't want him to see me eat. Being a fake, you talk about, I hate fake people. You're being fake right now. <laughs> Hello, Ariel. You deserve this happiness. You've been through a lot of. <laughs> Oh, it's your first and unique time? Yes. What are the main dishes, eh? Like Syrian dishes? Okay. This idiot, Sala, saying, at Reginald, about community posts, is defending about what, and he uses the R word. Y'all see it right here. Y'all see it right here. Using the R word, uneducated people who says about her, yes, yeah, so yeah, it's normal. So there's Sala using the R word. And Chantal has used it too. Just thrown around the R word. Did you? I never explained to him that people are very sensitive about a lot of different things here, um, about different slurs, about things like that. So I think it's just a learning process for everybody. So everyone just has to be patient with each other. But <laughs> we didn't meet seven days ago. <laughs> men and women don't really date you know they don't really go to tinder tinder's not often used and people get married men and women usually get married to be together well they usually meet first <laughs> no they usually meet each other first and check each other out before tying the knot you know I think people don't know. That's what the reaction channels use against you because of last time. You know, let's let's talk about the concept of tying the knot. What does that usually entail? When you tie a knot with something, that means two ends that connect together. These two haven't even connected. They've never even met. So how in the world can you tie a knot with something that doesn't exist in the first place? But they don't, Rhonda. They don't know. that. How can they know? Do they have a camera in my life? They literally don't know. I haven't been online talking about what I'm doing. Even then, like, after the camera's off, they don't know what I'm doing. Yes, Aisha, the destiny, like... You're right. You're right, Chantal. We don't know what you're doing. You're absolutely correct. We don't know what you're doing when the camera's turned off. We don't have big brother following you around detailing your every move reporting back to us you're right we don't know what you do with your time we don't know who you spend your time with but what we do know and what we do notice is when you're excessively sitting on youtube doing your community post one right after the other and doing little short snotty videos one right after the other and showing up in people's comment sections and in people's live chats and making nasty comments there 
and doing the copyright strikes. I mean, literally spending all night doing that stuff after telling your audience, I'm happy and I'm making my life better. And I spend hours talking to Sala. And it's strange that you say you spend hours talking to Sala. When we see you for hours on YouTube, just posting stuff everywhere and you won't stop. This. <laughs> so, you're so sweet. You really are so sweet. Like, he's so sweet. Like, he... <sighs> Come on, guys. No drama. Uh-oh. Y'all see this comment by Sofa King? Uh, Sala asked you, buddy, not her. <laughs> so the VIBs were not happy about Sala being in there. But you would... Well, I mean, obviously, Ooh. the fact that I'm in... Oh, that's gotta hurt. Yikes. Uh, Whoop says, doesn't Sala want kids? Chantal can't have any. So I don't know if Sala exists or if Chantal has told Sala that she's had a hysterectomy. And because of that, she cannot physically have children. And she's been over there talking about a uterus transplant. I'm not a doctor. I don't have any medical training. I don't know what the procedure entails, but I would imagine that when you do something like that, it's very severe and you would need someone to be in fairly good health of which Chantal is not. So I just wonder if Sala knows that at this point in time, she can't physically have children if they discuss that. Engaged to, you know. Um, That's also our business, whoops. We want Sala to come. And um, yes, we can have kids. We absolutely can. No, we can't. We want Sala to come about more. <laughs> Stop scared. Physically, you can't. You could have children with another woman if you got her pregnant. But I can't see you being in the type of health that you could get a actual uterus transplant if that's even possible with you and you're not suitable for adoption so how would you have children how would you have children unless somebody else was a surrogate mother hearing him <laughs> have you returned to canada no he hasn't What? <laughs> yes, his English is very good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's very convenient yet to know what things will be like then. Just take your time. If it's love, then no rush, right? Yeah, I mean, we plan on spending months together. <laughs> like, no, Salah, don't block Sofa. And Sofa, just, okay, we're not talking about personal stuff. No drama. Just don't talk to each other, please. <laughs> I don't like Sofa, and I don't like Salah. So to see the two of them fighting is making me very happy right now. Because <laughs> I don't like you, Sofa. You're a creep. I've heard about some of the things you've been doing, sir. The comments you've made to women asking for nudes. I've heard all about that, sir, all the way over here. And you've been very rude to me in my chat. And that's why you got blocked. So you fighting with somebody, I'm here with the popcorn. So certain people cannot be blocked. But it depends. Like, don't be super disrespectful, guys. Like, you would not want somebody talking crap about the person you love. And I, like, it doesn't matter regardless, like, if you think, 
Like, you guys don't know, like, our relationship. You don't know the sentiments between us. You don't know the dynamic. You know, like... They're personal questions, though. You know what I mean, Sofa. And Sala, Sofa's been like a really long time Beezer. But my Beezers are just protective of me because of stupid arsehole from the past. Yeah, he's like a big brother. <laughs> I mean that with complete sincerity. I want you to be the happiest woman on earth. We love you too. I know. Okay, but like how, how can how else can why does Salah have to prove anything? And honestly, I think he's proved enough, hasn't he? Like No. No, he hasn't. And and the red flags are all over the place. The guy claims to be a professional guy took a picture of himself in front of a car that could have been anybody's car that could have been a, a complete scammer picture he claims to have all this money but why isn't he spending money to you why isn't he taking care of you i mean this guy's rich why are you still on youtube worried about doing live streams for money that's what i want to know i mean y'all's finances are y'all's finances i'm just saying this guy's putting off this bravado, this swag of being a well-to-do guy. So you're his woman. Why isn't he taking care of his woman? Right? Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Has there been nothing? But he hasn't been involved in drama. He hasn't come in and, like, you know, made videos freaking out. And, I mean, like, where where's the indication that he's doing anything wrong? You know, Chantal, you're a fucking idiot. He's a scammer, and he's playing the long game. He's playing the long game. He's got you on the hook like a fish, and he's slowly reeling you in. He doesn't want to be too quick about it. He doesn't want to jerk the line and, and, and pull you out of the water just yet. He's playing the long game. He's reeling you in. And why isn't he on YouTube? Why isn't he real? taking you out of the water right now. Why isn't he coming forward and being more public? Could it be because he's running the same scam on other women and he doesn't want to chance what he's doing being exposed to all those other women and that will ruin the whole network of scamming he's got going on? Perhaps, perhaps you're not the only fish he's got on his fishing hook. And so he wants to reel in as many as possible. And to do that, he's got to stay in the shadows. Because that's what professional high-end scammers and grifters do. They don't come out in the public where they can be exposed. They stay in the dark. They stay in the shadows where they can play their games, where they can do their scamming, where they can do their grifting. And no one will know who they are. No one will know where to find them. And then continue with the game. That's what he's doing. He's playing the long game on you, dear. All of Beezers <laughs> are super nice and God bless them no matter what other haters say. <laughs> yeah. We just don't want people like too involved in our personal life. So we're not going to answer any personal questions about anything about our lives. If we just want to keep that very secret, you know? Yeah. Okay. So Chantal is supposed to be moving in about, oh, I'd say about eight or nine days. She's got to be out of the house, according to her, by November the 1st. Today's the 22nd. So she's got about a week to pack, move, get out of there, do whatever she's got to do. We'll find out what's going on at the end of the month. I got a feeling something's coming. We don't know what it is. I'm going to do a tarot card reading on Fruity tomorrow and maybe try to get some answers. But this React is done. 
I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and post it to my channel. It is now two in the morning and I'm going to get some sleep so I can get up and get some stuff done and do the reading later. So y'all take care and have a good one. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye now.